Charlemagne entered Saxon territory in 772 AD, starting a war that would last 33 years against the Saxons in an attempt to take control of Saxony. But today, using more bookmarks plus, we're starting in 769 AD as Saxony, and we will attempt to rise up against the Carlins and take their land for ourselves. So yeah, as you've probably seen, we're using more bookmarks plus. There's a few other mods, mainly just graphical. There's about five mods, so I'll chuck them all on screen now. And yeah, we're going to be playing as Saxony. And that means we're almost fully surrounded by Charlemagne. We got his brother, Carloman the I, with the rest of France. Okay, so starting out, we got about 1,500 troops, and they got about 4,400, and another 4,000 there. Now looking around, we've got to be careful Charlemagne doesn't die while having a proper heir. Because yeah, these are bastards, so they're not counting. Because if he does die, this guy inherits it all. And that will be awful for us. I think the best thing we can do, we're going to attack some of these smaller guys around us. Take some more land. And that way we can build up our power. And because of our culture, we can get Huskals. So we might get some more of them. Get some onagers. Build up a nice army to go and take them on. Because yeah, we're... Germanic and Old Saxon. If you go to Old Saxon, we have herds, which gives us Huskals. And we have trade port buildings in Era Early, which isn't too helpful for us because we are tribal. And we can get Scandinavian Elective, which if we get to a point where we think we're going to die, that will probably save us. Our wife, she's terrible. I'm not going to lie. We're going to marry someone else. Don't want that. Okay, she's 11. We are 25. You know what? There's a Herculean there. So let's do that and let's marry her. We already have two children we can work on in the time being. There's no geniuses or intelligent. I think Herculean would be great. We do have to wait a couple of years, but that's fine. Got to make sure we're educating this guy. We can go steward or marshal. And I mean, we're tribal, so we'll go with marshal. We might as well get both our kids educated quite well. Because before we even unpause, we want to get a few things set out. We're going to marry a lot of our courtiers out so we can bring some people in. So we want a good court tutor. So let's see. How about you marry a good court tutor? 18 learning. That's pretty good. Let's do that then. Okay, so that seems like the best court we're going to get for now. I mean, it's pretty good. So we're going to set them on the right tasks. And what we're going to do now, our character seems to have an intrigue education, which isn't great. It's a really good intrigue. He's a bit too good at intrigue. It's not really what we want, though. So yeah, I'm going to move over to diplomacy. I'm going to get benevolent intent, inspiring rule, Praetorian garden, firm hand. These three help with prest uh, prestige. So we're going to definitely get them. And yeah, like I said, to get things started, going straight into a war with him is going to be terrible. So we're going to take it slow and we can easily beat these kind of guys. We can just conquer county and just take these for ourselves. I mean, easy. There's not much in our way there. Here we are. And then any extra counties we pick up, we'll just give it to a noble of old Saxon culture. That way we don't go too much over the domain limit and we still expand our power. I'm hoping anyway, while we're both still alive, I'm powerful enough and I have enough fame and prestige to yeah, do an invade kingdom. And I'm thinking your West Francia or whatever will get us the most. Well, West Francia could be a good one. So that's the original plan. We'll see how it goes. And while we're waiting for a few things, yeah, we're going to try and get as much prestige as we can to get our level of fame up. So we're not stuck at a low level of fame towards the end when we really need the invade Casus Belli. Because yeah, we need to be almost a max level of fame. So we're going to have a long way to go there. Okay, we're finally married. Nice, which means she can go on our council. And she's not bad. We can put her here and get more prestige, which I think is what we want the most, to be honest. We're tribal. We need men at arms. We need prestige to build. I mean, yeah. Because we're going to do a little bit of building. Probably not too much, to be honest. But war camps are great as we get an extra knight for every single one we have, as well as more levies. And we could maybe get some more of these if we just want extra levies for the sake of it. But it's not as essential. But we'll get a bunch of these up as well. Right, we're a little bit more powerful than this guy. I think, yeah, we're just going to keep taking counties. That's all we can really do right now until we get a bit more fame. So you know what? We'll take that north bit of his. Get some more coastland in our realm. So yeah, we'll get ahead with that now. Rather than just waiting around. And yeah, we're going to storm the capital first. And yeah, we're trying to make friends with the guy up in Denmark because, yeah, they're a little bit more powerful than us for now. So, you know, if we can stay on their good side for a little while, we may end up fighting them later. But for now, we'll, we'll stay on their good side while they're more powerful. Skill tactician. Uh, okay, that's not not great, is it, to be honest with you? Bit of a disappointment, not going to lie. So that means, yeah, I'm probably just going to use you for an alliance. And hope I get some better children, maybe? You know what? That would be quite a good alliance, although they're quite far away. Is there anyone a bit closer? You know what? He's not bad, and he's fairly close. But I'm actually going to use him for an alliance with my, yeah, my most powerful vassal. I think that's the smart way to go about this. Because, yeah, he's very powerful. And if he's on our side... 
we're going to be better off. Right, 100% finally. So we got that county as well. Now, of course, we can raid as well. Only problem is we can only raid by land, so we can't use ships for whatever reason, which is not great, which means we can raid some of these guys, but that's about it. I mean, we have to walk there, so... Yeah, it looks like middle Francia has taken a little bit more land off West Francia, which is interesting. They're still more powerful because, yeah, they've made some good alliances, it looks like. So, yeah, we're much weaker at the moment. But with a bit of luck, yeah, it won't last forever. So, I'm not too worried yet. Right, now we've got a little bit of money behind us as well. I'm going to start building war camps. Let's get the number of knights up. Which, with the diplomacy perk, we mean we get more prestige for having more knights as well. So, yeah, this is a great investment, I feel. But we might as well build one in each county if we get the chance to. So now it's time for some raiding. Let's go. We got a great commander. Oh, someone can be sponsored. Oh, there's a magnificent weapon. 128. Oh, we need that. Oh, I really want a good weapon. Right. Yeah, let's try and siege quick. And let's try and get as much money as possible. Okay, so we got a little bit of money from this place. We're going to bring it back just so we can quickly sponsor that guy. And then, yeah, we're going to carry on raiding. Oh, the weapon guy's gone. Oh, surely not. He went that quick. Is he actually gone? That is awful. That is tragic. Oh, he was going to make an amazing weapon. That, yeah, that sucks. Very unlucky. If we're stuck with this guy, um, he wants to forge a crown for how much? 66? Why not? I mean, sure. That's very disappointing, though. That's a shame. We'll raid this last county here. Might as well, because it's a capital. Oh, we have to imprison someone. I really didn't want to do that, because he's great. Uh, we'll ransom him off. 50 gold, and hopefully, yeah, we might have to sway him. Get, make sure he's on our side, because, yeah. Oh, we're getting attacked. No, and we can't even go to sea. Everything we've worked for. Oh, come on. Yeah? We smashed them all. Let's go. That guy is nuts. That's why we ransomed him out straight away. Because, yeah, he's amazing. We're going to make sure we keep doing hunts and that as well. To get our prestige up as much as we can. Because, yeah, we need a lot more levels of fame. So, we're going to have to work on that. And we might as well hold some feasts as well. Let's get that up. Loads of our sparring grounds are being built. Which means we can have a lot of champions. Yeah, I think three finished building then. And he did have children as well. So yeah, he's not going to get inherited into one land just yet anyway. Might as well pick up Groom to rule. And honestly, I'm done with this tree. I don't see the point in staying there. So I'm going to move over. Get a little bit more money while we wait. Uh, we got a daughter. She didn't pick up any traits. But what we're going to do, might as well try it in Trig. She could make a good spy master in the future, you know? There's no one great to educate her. I can't educate her myself. So odds are she's not going to be too great. But I mean, there's always that forgotten kid in there. So sorry about that. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. Now she's strong and she's got decent learning. Let's see. You're not really important. So what we're going to do, we're going to make her our court physician. She's not as good. Oh, actually, we could just marry her off for an alliance, to be honest. Northman army, definitely not. Kingdom of Denmark. Yeah, we can marry him to the heir of Denmark. So that means hopefully, with a bit of luck, we'll have two, like, generations of alliances with these guys. So let's do that. Okay, so our player and son wants to go out and, yeah, wants to go and get this. Which can be helpful. We don't need him for now. I don't see why I'd stop that. I mean, he could die. We don't really care about him too much. This guy, he's gout. Shh. Game. Right, actually, let's try and seduce him. We need to have more children. We need a good son. If we can get a son with, um... Herculean, that would be great. What I'm hoping is that I don't die and neither does Charlemagne. That means we can battle it out. We've got a bit of a weird guy, but, you know, we don't kink shame over here. Ooh, you know what? I think that's worth it. Only 50 gold, and we get plus one prestige a month for whole five years. Yeah, I mean, we need prestige right now. Yeah, our truce is up with this guy as well. We're going to carry on just ruining this guy's life, basically. Very nice. I'm probably just going to hold this county myself as well. We'll have to increase the control there. But then we can just hold this ourselves, And of course, build some war camps and that. Get our knights up even further. Beautiful. May as well actually, yeah, do this. We're going to be building a fair bit more for now. Because yeah, we're going to need to build up a strong army if we're going to fight this guy. I mean, we're making our way there to be fair. We're, we're not doing bad. I wish I could do a duchy claim, but we need the next level of fame. We're just not there yet. We could do subjugation wars. But then we're going to have to deal with this massive vassal, which I don't think it's going to be worth dealing with. So yeah, we're going to keep doing just little county wars. Oh, we had another son. Please, please, please. Oh, God. You know what? I don't even deserve to be educated. Wait, that's a bit harsh. Okay, it's on your lisp. I'm sorry. I apologize. I mean, I get a bit of a lisp sometimes. But you know what? I won't be so harsh on him. I'll educate you myself. War declared. Wait, what? How did you get the title? No. 
He inherited it somehow. He's installed by a faction to manned. Ooh, okay. Wounded my injured son. Oh, I imagine, yeah, he's just got back. He's got the trait, but he is severely injured. Now, she's a novice physician. So, yeah, be cautious, and I think she'll do a good enough job there. There we are. Huge boost. Perfect. Right, let's finish this war up quickly. We're going to go back, and we're going to try and beat these guys. 100%. Perfect, perfect, perfect. End that. We're going to cross the river, which I don't know if it matters. No, I think there's a bridge there. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Come on. Yes, smash their main army. This guy's taking over Denmark now. Which is who we want. What is going on in Denmark? I have no idea. This guy is the same guy. I don't know. I can't remember his name, but now he is allied to us. So do you want to call off the war maybe? Considering, you know, we're allies. They got 3k troops now. How have they come back with more? Another son. Hail. Not bad. Not bad. We'll see if he can make a good marshal one day. Yeah, same we're going to win. We have such a good commander and we have a better army. So we can smash through Norway's armies time and time again. Who are you? Ooh. Why, do you, why are you so powerful? Oh, you have all of that. Ooh, okay, that's that's, that's quite big, not gonna lie. How about we do white piece there? No, no. They've unseaged this, that means we can white piece. Uh, and there's a peasant uprising. Right, they've white pieced. So with a bit of luck, we can call them to this war. Yep. So yeah, we've got all our allies in this war now as well. There's a lot of stuff going on, but... Yeah, we've got our allies coming to help. I think we're good. Peasant uprising, easy to deal with. And yeah, I think we can beat this army as well. Send them on their bike. Send them home. Wounded my injured son again. He's still severely injured. Time has come for... I don't really care about him. Drastic measures. Go on. Nice. We are illustrious now, which means we can do duchy wars. We only need one more level of fame. And we can do the big invade kingdom war. Amazing. So this is going quite well, actually. This is all you had to do, Saxony, you know? I don't know how you lost. Duh. My son? Yes. Come on. He's the one. We're going to want him to be good at diplomacy. My best friend died. I don't even know who you were. I'm not going to lie to you. You know what? I'm sick of waiting. Let's go siege their capital. It's taking too long. You got some ticking wars score, I know. But you might as well just give them a big siege. Probably finish it off. Maybe take some prisoners we can sell. I took my foe hostage. We actually just took him hostage. Right. Wait, we could ransom him off 50 gold. Right. And the war score will go back down because he's free. But then we still siege his capital, so that's an L. Thanks for that. Free money. Okay, that was a bit hectic. We had a good few years there. Apparently we have plus 0.1 piety a month. Wow, amazing. Oh, he's actually returned. So what was happening was he was out fighting. Every time he got injured, he traveled all the way back to ask my court physician what to do. Obviously not the smartest guy, you. Fair enough. I mean, you did it though. Well done. You know what? We're going to make this guy our marshal. We're going to give him some land. I think he deserves it, to be honest. He's absolutely insane. And he's teaching our child, I think. Why ain't you teaching our child? Please teach my child. Why do I have all these genius courtiers? Who are these guys? Parent is my champion and some ran... And they've just birthed a bunch of geniuses. What is that? When I'm a genius, I think they're all geniuses. That's insane. Except from one, but you are a bastard, so L. We need to... Actually, I'll do it right now, actually, I think. Yeah. Before we do anything else, and before I forget, we're going to add a law, Scandinavian elective, just so when we die, everything goes to one person. We're going to vote for our main son for now. We may have to go back in the diplomacy tree and make some friends. So what is this war about then? So you are defending. This guy is going for all of Denmark. And I think, yeah, he's actually more powerful than Denmark. We'll just raise our men at arm. No, that's not enough. <laughs> Forgot we don't have many men at arms yet. We may as well raise our troops and go give him a hand, just in case. I mean, we might as well keep our alliance in Denmark. He's got 17 prowess and he's three. He's stronger than me. What an absolute savage. Yeah, so right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend most of my money yet and getting these men at arms up. We need them ready for war soon. And then we can do the massive war. It's now changed to Aquitaine. It's still the Carling dynasty, of course. Still the same guy, actually, Carloman. It's still the same man. They're both still alive. They've done a bit of back and forth, it looks like. They've taken quite far this way, but then they've hit back. And taken some down here. So yeah, they've been fighting each other, which is interesting. It's great for us though, that they're not allies. Because them two together would cause pretty major issues. Oh no. We died at 55 of old age. Oh, that's quite young. That is so unlucky. Oh, this guy was our primary heir though. Okay. Right. We're going to have to deal with some problems, I think. It may get a bit tricky. We're going to make sure this guy ends up great. Oh yeah, we only have one... County. 
which is unlucky because, yeah, it got very split up. What do we even hold? Oh, there's actually nothing we can do. Ooh, that is really bad. Damn. Because, yeah, we can't actually go to war. He's not independent, the liege, or under the same liege. And we can't grant independence because he's a de jure vassal. What are we going to do about it? I don't know. But he's pushing a claim. Oh, I just did not expect to die so soon. We're actually going to have to do a few wars. Picking up some counties that we can end up then holding. Because otherwise, we're stuck with no land. And there's not really much we can do about it. If I knew, I would have disinherited some. But I just was not expecting any to die anytime soon, to be honest. But, I mean, it should be easily fixable. We can easily get some counties to build up our power. We're going to have to rebuild some of the stuff we had as well. And this guy's declaring war. Yeah, you're tiny. I don't see why you've done that. So, yeah, we'll conquer these counties. And then we'll take them for ourselves. And all we really have to do is just build another building and get the controller. So my brother and vassal approaches my throne. You have no right to languish atop of that throne. I'd rather die than see you make one more false decree from it. So he killed my half-brother. And yeah, we can actually let him die. Or we can imprison him and blind him. Yeah, you. why do you think you can just get away with that? Uh, I don't think so. Problem is, we don't want this guy getting any stronger to be honest i wish we were his primary heir but we don't seem to be for whatever reason even though i thought i would have been considering i'm the liege and he doesn't have any children but yeah that's not how this is gonna work so yeah we're gonna ransom him oh no we're not we're gonna move him to the dungeon and we're gonna let him suffer so yeah he did you know try to assassinate me well now we can actually kill him for vengeance so 20 dread 150 prestige yeah let's get some dread on the go we already caught athletic because we've been that stressed as well this guy's life's not going so great. Obviously, Charlemagne's still alive. For some reason, we have a bunch of these, which we didn't buy. I don't know what was going on. I'm not going to complain, but it's just strange. We need to get one more thing of her skulls. Get them fully maxed out. And that's all we can really hold. I'm happy enough with that, to be honest. So now what we need to do is get our level of fame up. Let's go for the big war. I mean, we're young. I think we can get it quite early in this guy's life. So what I'm going to do while I wait anyway, I won't keep updating you. And yeah, I'm going to pick up these two counties. They should be easy, and it's just more knights we can then hold, so I'm going to crack on with that. We actually have a lot of money, so yeah, we'll do some hunts and feasts now. We'll spam everything to get our fame up. We're already almost illustrious, and we're only 15. I mean, this guy's had a hell of a life. He's already disfigured. Poor guy. Bless him, eh? Oh, no. It looks like, yeah, West Frank here, you know, had some inheritance issues. I might slow them down. I wonder if they will. They are already, yeah, being attacked. So I imagine they'll probably... This guy will probably start taking some land back eventually. I mean, he has the power. Coming of age. Let's see. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. That is not great. We're going to make sure this guy ends up great. Poor guy. I mean... <laughs> oh, no. I thought he would have turned out decent. So my mother wants basically a court position. So what should I do? I can find something for it to do. Oh, I could send her off to be a monk. That seems quite harsh. Master of the hunt. Uh, I do not think so. I mean, she's old. She I feel bad, though. You know, she's drunk. But you know what? We'll, we'll give her a court position. Why not? So we need to find something for it to do. I mean, I could send her off as a monk. That's, that seems a bit harsh. How about... Yeah, you know what? Do that. Here we are, look. Happy, happy. We're also going to marry one of my champions off and try and find someone who's got good learning. So then, yeah, they can become my court physician. Because they'll get the trait over time anyway. So the best we start them off, you know, as soon as. Rather than just leaving it and then we're stuck with no one. So at least they can train. I mean, at this point, we're just chilling trying to get famous. You know, we're just trying to be a medieval influencer. As you do, you know. Okay, we got the mace. Old Saxon mace. We got an old Saxon hammer, which is plus one. Plus three. That's a bit better. You know what? 27 prowess is uh, pretty good. My brother is demanding an artifact. What are you demanding? I actually don't care about that. I actually just give that to him. Why not? I mean, it's not important. Plus 0 0.1 piety a month. Wow. You have fun with that. I mean, we have a little bit of a wait because, yeah, we need to get that next level of fame. So we could do some duchy claims. I mean, right? We might as well. Only 150 prestige. We definitely have the troops. And we have some great commanders. I'm probably the best. So, yeah. Let's go for it. Shouldn't need allies either. As long as we start sieging the war target. Okay, yeah. We need to bring all our troops in because this is going to get rough. They did actually pile in an attack. But yeah, we brought them all in. That's fine. They're not backing down. They're full on rushing us. So splitting them up is just asking to die. They keep raising so many troops. They must be buying mercenaries or something. They just keep raising like loads. But yeah, I think we're about to win. Right, we're going to enforce demands. 
I mean, yeah, we took them little bits. This guy is our vassal. We'll demand his... We'll send him a gift. And then we're going to try demand conversion. Come on. Yeah, you know what? We cook. There we are. That works. We actually got the level of fame. Okay, let's wait for these champions to arrive. And we're going to start doing kingdom wars. We can only do one per lifetime. So we got to think smart. The most damage we can. So we'll have a check around as well. See what's what. So the most I can actually get right now is 19. But we've done some marriages as well to bring some people over. And look at this. They're actually great. And we've got to find what's the best war. We can invade the kingdom. West Francia, that's looking nice. That's some good coastline right there. There's also middle Francia, which is actually a nice chunk in the middle, obviously. But yeah, there's a few we could do. I don't know if it's the most effective, but I mean, Charlemagne's title was West Francia when he was alive. So do we just go with that? You know what? I think we do. So we've declared the war. So we've got 9k troops ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to split them into four. And make sure they all have good commanders. I'm leading one. This guy, he's not that great. Uh, I'll play Ray. I'd rather him do that. You're also not too great. Yeah, okay. They seem like the best bunch. So we have four pretty good armies there. We could get some mercenaries. I just don't know if we'll need them, to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to ignore this chunk right here and move right over to this part because it's part of the war target. We're going to send one army to actually chase. The rest of them, yeah, they're going to go siege the war target. So yeah, if we can get some siege war score and some battle war score. It says it's close for some reason, but I trust the game to give us the win. Yes. And you guys might as well start sieging as well. This is going perfectly up 43%. And they are hopeless. Right, there's a peasant uprising. We're going to have to ignore them for just a minute. Hopefully we can get this war done quick enough where we can just like, you know, sort them out a bit later. Okay, my nephew and chancellor wants to send me a gift. Thank you. That's amazing. Finally, an AI that likes us. Something's going on. He's definitely planning something. He's going to kill me now after I said that. Just know it's going to happen. Oh, no. France's army was down here. They're just getting beaten by AI as well now. <laughs> Keep chasing. 100%. So, yes. We're going to get to the kingdom of West Frankie. Look at that. Kissed. There's a lot of raiders as well. We're going to get the ones out in our land and then just try and disband all my armies. Okay. So, they're all disbanded. We did get West Frankia. Everything is still like a massive mess. Not going to lie. I mean, we're just so powerful now. You got a bunch of prisoners? Execute them all. We don't need them. Yes. I'm sure that's made some random counts absolutely hate to me, but, you know, it's the way it goes. We may be able to persuade this guy to join our court. We can, yeah, we'll get a sway on him. And I, what I think we may as well do, we may as well, yeah, get truth is relative. Try and get some nice people with nice claims to come and join us. Yeah, I could really do with this guy. I wish we could, like, invite and we could promise to, like, push their claim. And that would, like, increase the chance of them joining us. If I do that, does he get opinion of us if we let him board someone? Game. Uh, come on. Like, what? <laughs> Why did you have to do that? Because he was our best chance. And we just gave him a gift as well. We just sent him a bunch of money and then he just got killed. Not impressed. Not impressed. Not gonna lie. With that said, and I'm going to leave that there because, yeah, we did what we said we were going to do. We destroyed the Carling dynasty, basically. I mean, these two guys are the only rulers left. If we check the houses, yeah. And they're both much weaker and they're both my tributaries. So they're both basically just like my pets. They can't do a lot. And the Saxons absolutely dominated them. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, do consider leaving a like and subscribing. And I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. Of Bayek von Quark, Arcane, Damien, Intermio 1, Irrelevant, Luke Jarrett, Zigadelic, Random Icelander, Dover 404, Harold Volmer, Victor Voss Anderson, and Swirling Vortex of Entropy. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.